Bay. I'm an expedition project manager and staff scientist with the International Ocean Discovery Program at Texas A&M University. So I have been on a total of five expeditions. Uh, my first expedition was when I was a grad student um, and I sailed as a biostratigrapher. And then I've sailed on four expeditions as an expedition project manager. So an average day for me at sea, uh, well, it first starts off with coffee and reading email because I get a lot of email. Uh, and then I normally do a walk around the labs to see how people are doing and also check on science results um, because I have to produce a daily report in the morning, uh, which goes to shore and it kind of summarizes the science activities of the day before. Um, let's see, and then there's nine o'clock cookie break, which is of course very important. Um, and then there's normally meetings or just walking around the labs. Uh, it depends on what's going on in terms of operations. If we have cores, uh, or if it's more of report writing time. Um, that's normally a, a day for me. biggest challenge of my job is staying organized. Uh, there's a lot of different things that I need to uh, keep track of, um, whether it's uh, reports or just all the different moving parts of what's going on in an expedition at any given time. So I tend to have a lot of to-do lists, which maybe is not the best way to stay organized, but it seems to work for me. Uh, so I have many favorite parts to my job. Um, I love being at sea. Uh, just being out here on the ocean is fantastic. Um, for me, I love when we are coring because when you have cores, you just never know what's going to come up. Uh, it's always exciting because you just, it's always new and you just never know what you're gonna find. Um, I like the people. Uh, every expedition I meet amazing people um, and it's just really fun. And then finally, travel. Um, growing up in rural Nebraska, I never really thought that I would get to travel much. It just never really crossed my mind as something that people did. Uh, and I've got to go and see places that I never thought I would get to. So, yeah, I think those are my favorite parts. So when I first started out as a graduate student, um, what I wish I would have known is that there are job opportunities for geoscientists outside of a traditional academic or industry role. Um, it seems like you either get pushed one way or another and there are other opportunities out there for you to be a scientist and to not have to conform to those two areas. And I think I've been really fortunate to have a job that I can still be active in the science community, but I think it's maybe a bit more fun than what the others are doing. So. <laughs>